Okay guys, this is their labyrinth, and it's not something you get lost in really, it's a meditation labyrinth basically, where you walk through, and just the act of walking often sets our minds at ease, or it sets us towards finding the solutions of what you're trying to figure out. As you can see, Zipnab has a head start on us. <laughs> but it does start at that bench, and then there's other little benches through there where you can sit. They used to have statues here, and it looks like they're redoing it, so... You can enjoy that as well. So just across from the labyrinth is the monastery. And uh, this is not some place you go unless you have paid for the tour. You just don't. It's, uh, they're, they're working in there. They're having their prayers and studies and things. So it's best if you just leave them to it. There are other places that you can go that are quite beautiful, also free. So we're just gonna pan around here so you can see also, just right down from the labyrinth is the next part. See, when you see this white statue here, that's the Mepkin Gardens, and that's where we're going next. Don't go down where it says Mepkin Farm, right there. Don't go that way. That's where they live. So, when you're coming down here, just so you know, that's where they lived, and that's where they're um, going to be staying. You can see that on the tour, but if you're not on the tour, then you're going to be interrupting what they're doing. So, take the tour, guys. Alright, so we're on to the next part. Okay, so this is what the entrance to the garden looks like. And you can drive from the front all the way to the back to see this. You don't have to stop at the visitor center if you don't want to. I'd like to because you can see everything, get information, maps, things like that. And here you go. Over here to the right, you're going to see where the monks live. Anytime you see this yellowish tan, that, that stuff right there, that's where they live, that's where they work. Don't go there. But otherwise, as you can see, this is a beautiful place. Very quiet. You are on the Cooper River. So you are going to hear people going by, seeing things. We'll show you that next. All right, so in we go. So this oh. is a part of the abbey. We're not exactly sure we're supposed to be at, but there is a little bit of a stone path walkway over here and everything. So we figured we'd come over here and check it out. See the pathway. But we're not sure if this is like their meditation area or what. Let's see if I can show you. Over here, there are cranes. Look at that, guys. You see all kinds of stuff when you come out here. It's pretty cool. So the whole reason we walked over here was to show you the statue. They have all kinds of statues, all kinds of carved stuff. But this just isn't where you would, this just isn't one that you would see if you walked the graded path. Again, guys, I'm not sure we're supposed to be here. So if you come out here and you do this, then uh, be very quiet. Because again, this is very close to where they live. This is supposed to be Christ and St. John in the cornfields. I have no idea. I don't remember that at all from my Bible, but okay. This, this place is beautiful out here. So we're just going to go that way and we're going to go back out to... There's a bunch of uh, wood carved stuff. So that's where we're going to go. It looks like they used to have a path here because, I mean, look at these trees. Unless they planted these trees this way on purpose. Anyway. Hi, Jesus. Okay, guys. So that is where we were. And we just did a quick walk through those trees. And over here. You can see all the nice trees and foliage and things like that. Kind of out so I can show you something here. This is some of the woodwork that we're talking about. This is actually a scene. This is Jesus, um, I believe, already off the cross. You've got a centurion, you've got uh, Mary, you've got, I think, John. Or he's still on the cross, actually. Uh, they might be putting him up at this point. So, 
It is really Christian out here, guys. <laughs> Just so you know, if you didn't figure that out the first time. Uh, because this is a monastery, it's a Catholic monastery. It's the only one I know of in South Carolina. And there's another walk, walking area back there called the Columbian Walk. So, when you come out here, that's just something to remember that this is a religious area. So, you know, be respectful. Even if you're not a believer or what have you, these guys do put, there's the Colombian walk right there. Even if you're not a believer, these guys put a lot of work, they put a lot of detail into their home. And this is their home. So just remember, there's the other one there. I believe that's the one you can actually sit on. There might actually be a third one, I'm not sure. So you see these grounds are gorgeous. They're just gorgeous. The first time I found this place, I came four times in one year. That's how much I like it out here. It's just so quiet. Alright, so we're going to go on to the next edge. So this is the next piece of woodwork. I'm wrong, this is not the one you can sit on, but this is Joseph and Mary on their, on their donkey. As you can see, going to take Jesus away, I guess, when they're sojourning back to his homeland. They took these huge trees that had fallen. They're not cutting down trees just to do this. But these are larger trees that fell, and then they cut into them. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a little lizard on Mary's face. <laughs> I'm going to zoom in, hope you can see it. He's right up there at the top of her cowl, or her head thing. Anyway, that's the other thing that's cool about this place, you come right into nature. That Colombian walk actually goes out to a cemetery we're going to go to, so we will take that in a second. And that is also a gorgeous place. Right now, we're going to go right back down to the pond, looks like. And that is in this general direction, this way. Oh look, there's a nap. <laughs> Alright guys, so one of the seminaries that you can find here is the Luce family, and this is the family that donated the land to the monastery, if I'm not wrong about that, if I'm correct, I think I am. But you see they take care of their headstones, and they take care of the land here as well. This beautiful piece of artwork there is a angel oak that is for Henry and Claire. I think Luce is what their name is, but I'm not sure. So we're just going to zoom in on that so you can take a look at it a little bit better. There we go. It is a gorgeous piece. I have not seen the like. I've seen many gorgeous pieces in many cemeteries, but I have not seen one like that in a long time. Or ever, really, actually. So this is one of the cemeteries. They have another one, and we will go to that. Alright, guys. So let's head over to the pond. This is between where we were, the statuary, and the pond. So if you travel the, um, the way they, they want you to, it kind of winds around all this stuff. So feel free to just sort of wander. Just be careful where you wander. Watch your step. Things like that. Make sure you're not going into monk areas where they're reading and studying and all that other stuff. All right, let's go. So just a few steps away, and we're actually at this great pond. Now Zipnam's already been over here investigating with us, and uh, he saw the gator, so there is a gator in here, a small one, and turtles love being in here. There's all kinds of turtles in here. Looks like they've treated the water already. It's usually not this bright bluish green that you see, so gorgeous spot though. So let's go down there. I'm going to head down there right now. You can see it goes all the way out and that second piece of water that you can see out there is the Cooper River. So we'll be seeing that pretty soon. All right away we go down we go. So this is the pond area not on the Cooper River side but on the other side this pond extends all the way to the beginning of the garden area. So we I'm just gonna just pan. At. Yeah that we were just at. So I'm just gonna pan and let you guys see it. Zipnab says the gator is over here to the right, where the arc of that tree is. So right about here, he's right in here, messing around. Trying to catch a turtle. Or something. 
We don't really know what he's doing. And guys, the thing I do like about this place is that there's not a whole lot of bugs. Well, there are, but they're in the water or flying they're... around like they're big dragonflies. There's little scants. And then there's the chiggers and chiggers and trees because the moth. Yeah, but they're not on me. <laughs> no, I mean, there should be with all the water, but it's, that water's moving behind us. So I'm going to see if I can try and show you all the little minnows in here. Well, I'm going to try. Debbie Downers you. <laughs> I just didn't try to Debbie down you. So right along in here you should see them. I'm going to get my finger in here in the shot. Oh, there we go. It's so right along in here. They should be right. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, there it goes. Yep, so you can see that. So they do They do have fish in here. Frogs. I'm trying to get the water water walkers. Turtles. Hmm? Trying The little minnows are trying to catch the water walkers. Yeah, they're they're eating as well. Getting their getting their little nutrients. Oh, you see the, so pull back this line here. right here? One, two, three, four. Those are little noses of turtles. Where? You see see little little dots right out there. There's like one, two, three. And then the branch right there, out way out there. Yeah. Those are little turtle noses. Oh, so they're coming up for air. Little turtles are coming up for air, but they're not coming to us. Probably because we're talking. If you want to see the nature out here, guys, you really do have to be quiet. <laughs> And sit for a little bit, which is fine. <gasps> there he is. Who? I think that's a little gator right there. Where? Why not? He's really close to you, Brendan. <laughs> oh, I see him. Is he there? He is. He's there. Super quiet. He's Hi there. right. It definitely is something. Here in this area. He's a crocodile. He's a little baby one. He's right there. That's a little croc. He's watching us. And this is not very far from the shore at all. So this is the kind of thing you can see. He's not going to come up to us, most likely. Unfortunately. But. I would love to get to pet a croc here. Even a baby croc A little baby here. one. That'd be cool, huh? I want You guys just for right there. That's his eyes and the top of his head. Which means he's about three feet long. Yeah, he's a baby. He's a baby. So there are probably other ones in here because uh, I was out here again. Like I said, I, I, the first time I found this place, I came out here four times that summer. Because I just like it that much. But, um... So, whenever you come out here, there's all kinds of new nature out here. Because the one I saw was three times his size. So they're either having babies or something out here. They're going back out to the river. Yeah, going back out to the river, coming in and out. Probably only the smaller ones can. Yeah, there's a little place around here they can walk. So pretty cool, huh, guys? See all kinds of stuff if you just sit and look. Got to listen. Yeah. Hey, guys, I want him to go over there and grab him. <laughs> He's so cute. Mm -hmm. He is so cute. For a gator. Small. <laughs> For a real crocodile. Mm-hmm. So it begs the question though, where is mama? It does beg the question as to where is mother. <laughs> but she doesn't appear to think that her baby's in trouble, so I guess we're good. So this is the other side of the Cooper River guys, and as soon as I turned over here, look at that little head. That's a turtle right there. <laughs> Just in case you can't see him, I'll point him out. He is right here. I guess he should be right around in this area. Here. So right over there, right here is where I saw the big crocodile before, or alligator, which everyone, I don't ever know. So I just call them crocogators. <laughs> you get a better idea? This is the smaller section. The other one is the larger section. Probably the one that's more, I don't know, photographic or something. Usually underneath these trees, you can see all kinds of little turtles, but we don't see them right now. I don't know why. I don't know where they're where, where they are, what they're doing. They're probably under the water, staying cool. So we're going to go. I'm sorry for how this, how shaky this is about to be. Go over there. Yeah, we're gonna go over there this way. We're gonna go up and down. Yep, that's how they have it. All right, man. She wants to go up and down. And that's when we go that water, man. <laughs> I 
All right, so we start to get a nice incline here and you're able to get a very nice view. Hello, squirrel. We're coming to get you. <laughs> sort of what you're going to see here. That's where we just were sitting. Right there. Pan around here. A little bit more. You go up and around and it takes you around. I don't know if you can hear all the, the wildlife. There are birds. There's all kinds of stuff everywhere out here. Oh, the stump he was on has been taken out. So there's constant care here, guys. So it changes. The landscape changes and stuff like that. Um, there was a step area. Yeah, I gotta show you guys this. There it is. Oh, and it's private now. Okay, this step area. This is a silent area of no public access. We did go up here, and but all it really does is take you right back up to the top where it's the back of the church basically that's why it's private and quiet yeah no so talk. don't don't go up here but no before talk. it was developed i have pictures of that and you um can go up there but it just basically takes you to the private, the back of the thing so yeah no talking all right so these are the steps up to the uh, graveyard that i showed you before this is how they kind of want you to go. And this is actually also the remains of their their home. This is the outline of where it would be everywhere that you see brick. So I'm just going to pan around here. Let you see some of this. You hear their Compline bell. It may not be a common bell, it may just be a bell of prayer. That's where we were. That's where we were walking, right there. Look, alligators may live here. Okay, so there's the gators. There we go. <laughs> and then back around, a nice 360 view. Alright, so we're going to go head over to where Zifnab is standing. And take a look at the Cooper. So I'm going to show you guys something really quickly. I said earlier that you're right on the Cooper River. So I'm going to show you just how close if I can get my camera to work with me here. You really are. And you're at the Cooper River. That's how close you are. Okay. You see the house? So there's houses that are on the Cooper River you're going to be able to see. Let me see if I can. I'll have to zoom in to show you the homes across the way. Hey, whoa, whoa. No pervy stuff. <laughs> it's good. It's all good. You can see the homes over there that you'd buy on the Cooper River. If you had a boat, I don't think they have a boat landing, but you can come here and just sort of sit on the side. If you wanted to, this is a no-wake zone, so people do come through here. Not very fast. But just not very fast, exactly. And that's how you're supposed to deal with it. But this is very, you're on the Cooper River, basically. You just can't get in it. <laughs> okay. I don't see an egress point. Or ingress point, rather. Oh, yeah. oh sploosh, okay. <laughs> Ziffnab says you could sploosh it there if you wanted to. Well, I guess you could if you wanted to. You're going to run into Mama Crocodile, but I mean, she'll yeah. do, you know, do the test bite to see if you're worth it. <laughs> if you're not, well. You're not worthy. It's probably a good thing in this case. Yeah, you're not worthy to be lunch. <laughs> so before we came out here, these posts with this type of fencing was not here. It was just open grass. So you could have just, you know, sprung into the water, sprung into the river. Oh, sure. <laughs> I guess you could still do it.
This is the Colombian walk I mentioned before, the Colombian walk. They have some statue, they have some graveyard pieces here. And then you come down here, and this is what I was really thinking about. Wow, they have really developed this from the last time I was out here. Really well. Or maybe this is just, no, this is little grave areas for people, I, I'm guessing, who were cremated. And we're going down there. So once we get on the bridge, I'll let you see that. Okay, so we're here. And this, whenever it rains, is a river. Believe it or not, it does have water running through it. Can't see it right now because of all the plants. But whenever it rains, it has a nice little trickle out to the Cooper. <laughs> and this is right across from where we were sitting. So that you can still see the Cooper right out there. And then as you see, this is a dry riverbed right now because okay. there hasn't been, well, the, it's very small. How's that? And that's where we were. If you just take that column, Columbiana or whatever, um, walk, you'll come right here. It's not that, it's not that hard to find, really. So up here is actually more monk area, and then to the, <laughs> and then to the graveyard. So technically, you can really only go to the graveyard. You're not supposed to go anywhere else. So I'm gonna